Skins and Woods is an order from district of uh, Seine Saint Denis, yeah. and uh, they make an order to Gustave Akakpo for a play, mm -hmm. um, and then they order me to direct it. Right. And it was a, a great pleasure for me to meet uh, Gustave and how he, he, he writes and how he's. He has a good point of view for me on the, what happened today in the society. And the, the, the commission from the, the district, uh, it's the district of Paris, is it? Yes, it's in, in the suburb uh, next to Paris. And it's um, one of um, the suburb was not a good uh, identity. That means, um, in fact, in France, um, a lot of people think that in this district, in saint saint there is a lot of violence, uh, problems and uh, drugs and um, because there is a, a lot of immigration right. and uh, people come from different parts of the world and uh, the district of uh, saint saint is trying to make a, a, a good job uh, in the culture to help the young people to uh, to respect themselves and to try to live together. And uh, for me it was very interesting because this district is not uh, the same as it seems it could be. It's, right. it's really more uh, open and uh, the people are very interesting and it's not uh, as the media and um, especially uh, what you s you've seen on television. Yes. At first, I, I, I work on the text, mm -hmm. and uh, fortunately, we have Catherine Mendelssohn. We worked together um, two years ago with uh, How to Be a Modern Marvel, okay. translation from uh, Prodige from Mariette Navarro. And when uh, Vincent um, asked me to come and perform Skins and Hoods in uh, the Fringe, I I think about Catherine to make this job of translation because we can have a, um, a good um, a work together to find the good words and how um, this uh, story will be uh, understanding. Uh, when you're translating a play, I mean, actually, it's a, it's a different thing if a director asks you to change the play. But um, I wanted to try and realize the French play in a different language. So there were things that changed because of local uh, slang, but it wasn't a change, it was just finding the right word. This is the, the story about George. She's a, a young girl, eight years old, and um, in her school, there is one guy, Mamadou, mm -hmm. and Mamadou is black, is different from the others. And he has a big problem because the others always ask him, where do you come from? Because they think that as he, he's got a different color, uh, he probably comes from another country. So, so they assume that he's, a, he's not the same as them? He, it's a different culture? He, he has a, a problem because he, he didn't feel that he comes from another country. It was a very very big thing to imagine how we can speak about this kind of difference. So it's, it's interesting to see how the play um, makes us think about what we think. Is this a play for people who are eight or is it for, pe for mm, people who are... I think this, this play for, is for um, everybody. Right. If you come and see Skins and Wood and if you are eight, you will understand everything. And if you are an adult, you will also understand um, differencing. My, my history of work is as a dramaturg, which is often evolving the scripts for a world premiere. Now, I couldn't evolve this script, so I did something different. Because if you're a translator, you're not looking to change the script unless the playwright and director want you to. So what I was doing was just looking to achieve the right translation. But I did have a brilliant chat with Douglas Maxwell, who is a playwright I've worked with a great deal over the years and was a playwright in residence for me at the Traverse and we did many projects together.
Douglas writes plays for teenagers and young audiences like no one I know. And actually what Douglas most responded to in the translation and uh, wanted to encourage was the bit where Gustav had really written in a more, much less naturalistic language and had used almost verse and, you know, Douglas read the translation of it and said, I love that. Uh, so he felt, don't be too everyday with the other playground slang. If you can heighten it a bit, it's better. Everything is based on playground. And if you are young, you can recognize your playground, your own playground. Mm -hmm. And if you're an adult, you have to, um, to re you remember who you were when you were eight and who you are now as adult if you have a child, for example. Uh, I'm trying to work with adults to, um, to, to speak with uh, kids' language, right. but they are with their body, with the age, and uh, it's the, um, the text and how they speak together, the rhythm, um, the words they used. That's what we know. We know with that, that they are kids. At first, when we, we come here in 2013 with uh, How to Be a Modern Marvel, uh, I realized that uh, I really want to, to make another step for, between uh, our company and the audience here. And uh, I want to make a real co-production. That means uh, I want to come back with uh, a play and work with actors from here, Scottish actors. Because modern Marvel used French, French yes. actors speaking English. Yeah, yeah. Which is a big step in itself. Yes. A huge challenge. It was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, you know, I, I, I don't want to, to do the same thing. I want to, to continue to in, in the way um, to progress. And um, Vincent Guérin from Institut Français, the director, he saw Skins and Hoods um, just before we, we went to Avignon right. last year. And uh, we were speaking together because this play particularly was interesting because it was uh, for family audience, mm -hmm. that means kids and adults. And we were using a lot of uh, new technologies um, like video and how the actors are speaking with images. Um, so we decided to make the translation of the play, to come here and to create this play with uh, Scottish actors. That means we need to find three actors uh, here. And you need to be able to direct them in English? Yes, I, I have to, yeah, which is a, a very, very interesting uh, experience um, because I, I discover things that I didn't know about the play, how uh, here it's different to, um, to hear the same words, but right. how uh, the audience will understand. So it's a new uh, play for me. It's not the same, uh, even if we have the same set and the same videos, but actors are totally different. Uh, and that is very, very nice. But does this mean that the play can't tour? I mean... Oh, no. Uh, it, it's possible. Uh, this is really possible to, to make tour. We, we've done it in, in France. Um, and I, I hope we can continue the uh, adventure. It's a, it's a hugely technical uh, piece of piece of theatre. Uh, my 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 one con it sounds fascinating. Mm -hmm. My one concern is, does it need to be live? Yes, yes, because uh, in fact, for me, if the performance is good, we don't feel the technical things. That means we have to forget that this is video on screens. We need to, to feel the live on stage. Right. That means if we make um, a, a good performance, 
you don't feel different between between the image and the actors on stage. This is a, a, the same world. So the um, technology becomes invisible. I hope so. Yes, this is the, we work for it, really. For me, I consider that the child is an adult, he is becoming an adult. So we have to speak, even if he is eight or ten, as a potential adult. Yeah, good sure. strong questions about yeah. their their opinions. Yeah, yeah, and it's very important for us after the show to speak together, mm -hmm. uh, child, adults, uh, about what happened uh, on stage, and you will discover that usually young people they understand everything, and more than we think that they they can understand this because they f they feel everything and uh, they are more clever than we seem, sure.